about is Hawaii. found it, say mine. Also, he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the tax collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified. Rather, than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humble, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. As we take our seat. Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even this tax collector. I want a useful subject. Be aware of giving thanks the wrong way. Be aware of giving thanks the wrong way. Turn to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. neighbor. Hey. Oh, neighbor. Hey. Be aware. Be aware of giving thanks <laughs> the wrong way. They didn't hear you and said, neighbor. neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Be aware. Be aware. Of giving, of giving thanks. The wrong way. Let us pray. Dear Tony, that will bless the God that I ask that you bless the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart. O oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And Lord, Help me not so much to preach a good sermon, but one that will do some good so that the body of Christ may be edified for having heard it preached. In the glorious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, 
there's a story told of a certain man visited his friend's house. He had a farm to be exact. And walking around the farm was a three-legged pig. Everywhere he returned, it's almost like a family pet. And the visitor came for the first time seeing this pig roaming around in the yard, in the garden, what happened. The kids played with him. And he asked the owner of the house, he said, You have a three legged pig here. How is it that you have a three legged pig? And the owner said, Well, you can't believe how good this pig has been. So you know, uh, when my little girl was drowning in the swimming pool, the pig had barked so loud until it got all of our attention while we were busy <coughs> playing music and watching TV. And we ran out the house and only to find our daughter drowning in the swimming pool. We were able to save her life. Then one day, the house caught fire while we were asleep. And that pig right there went so loud to the walk everybody in the house up. We were able to save ourselves from the fire. So the visitor said, well, you still haven't told me how that pig has three legs. And the owner said, you know, when you have a pig that good, you don't eat him all at once. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to. <laughs> a funny way to give thanks. Went to the office 
said that. Secretary said, what can I help you? Said, I'm, I'm here to see the boss. Is he in? Said, yeah, but do you have an appointment? No, well, let me see if, I, if he'll see you. He may be too busy. And the secretary came back out and said, I'm afraid he won't see you now. He's too busy. Said, you got to uh, uh, maybe come back tomorrow about lunchtime. He might be available. The next day, the woman came back, brought her lunch, and sat there and waited all day, all through lunch. She wasn't available. And finally, he said, well, he couldn't see you today. So finally, maybe tomorrow, if you come at some point, the whole day, the next day, she just kept coming back, wanting to see him. And finally, she got into the office and said, Sir, I've been treated unjustly. And he said, There's nothing I can do. But she kept on going back day after day after day until that judge finally, who feared God, didn't fear God, didn't have any regard for any man, <clears throat> finally he said that this woman wearied him. In other words, it wore him down until he gave in to her wishes. Here's a man who feared, didn't fear God, didn't regard man. And Jesus went on to say, how much more would God do, Father do, who had guessed, how much more would he would give in to our prayers if we would be concerned with him. And here he was talking about that attitude of prayer. Then he went on to move to this topic here, here, this, this parable here. And he said this to folks that thought that they were better than other folks. Uh, and wanted them to consider themselves because they thought that they were more righteous than others. So that was one of the things. And so he tells this parable, watch the mindset, why y'all got that? The attitude. Here, uh, two men who go to the church the same time, the same day, and both of them offers up a prayer to God. The Pharisee, who is miles and miles away from the public, you know, this, this man here, uh, he is as far top as he can go. And this public is as far to the back as he can get. But both of them go to church. And the Pharisee uh, says, Lord, I thank you. He starts off real good. Lord, I thank you. Good way to start. But then he goes on and said that I'm not like some of these other folk. Uh, some of these uh, sinners. Evil doers, and, 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 and especially this, this tax collector over here, this public in here. And uh, I, I'm not a sinner like them. I, I don't sin. And I, as a matter of fact, you ought to be proud of me. Because uh, I fast twice a week, I even pay my tithe in the church. But this, this here, publican over here, who is cognizant of his wrong, his shortcomings, and even ashamed, and knew where he was, and could not even look God in the face, could not even look at his head down, kept his head down, said, Lord, be merciful to me. A sin. The tax collector leaves justified, meaning that his sleeve is clean, as if nothing is biblical, as if nothing is ever done, as if you've never had a record, you've never smoked crap, you've never been 
the prison. You've never done nothing wrong. But the other one leaves the same way he came in. in which the prayers were. Watch this here. The Pharisees' prayer was 34 words long. <laughs> oh, Lord, like a pray long prayer. <laughs> but this publican, this sinner's prayer, seven words. Seven words long. Yet he leaves justified. Right. Then he came. Now, now there are some lessons for us to learn. Y'all got time. Yeah. Oh, many of us, if the truth be told, may be like this fallacy. If you want, walks around in a spirit of arrogance mm -hmm. and elitism with your turning your nose down to other people just because they may not act like you, just because they may come from a different neighborhood than you. Just because their work status or position in life is different from yours. Just because they live on one side of the tracks and you live on the other. Or maybe you are one who walks around and can't appreciate the contributions that other folks have made. Maybe you're one who walks around and think that everybody ought not be treated equal. Only you and your kind and your folk. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, there are those that think uh, that, that, that my way of faith is better than yours because you don't do it. Somebody who uh, uh, sees things their way and no other way. Your way ain't right, and your way can't be right. And they're not going boys, they're narrow minded, insecure folks who don't see any way and don't even want to learn any better and feel that this is the only way and your way is not the right. And if you don't come the way that I go, then you're alone. You ever see folk man? You have religious pickets in the church. Don't look now. <laughs> Folks that feel like my brand of faith is different. Mine is better. And not only that, we have folk religious or oh, oh, folks in recovery. Bigotry. If you haven't got your recovery like I got mine, yours ain't right. If you hope you 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 haven't adhered to the twelve steps, no, no, no. If you haven't done your ninety days and ninety meat, no, 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 no. That's not right. You don't have it. It's bigotry. Same way in the church. If you go to NA, but you don't go to church. No, 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 no. You don't do it like us. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Right, yeah. <coughs> that right there, and you give thanks to God because you are not right. Oh, I've got a handle on this thing. Now, unlike they did, mine is different. Exercise no control over.
over stuff like To the Pharisees. Now, this Pharisee, a religious began to get all the T's crossed, all the dies, dying. And other folk, he said, I thank thee that I'm not a sinner. That's the first thing. I'm not a sinner. He goes to the church thinking that. He doesn't need anything from God. It's them folk there. It's them folk who overcome, live over their necks and homes. Them, them the ones. Them, they need not, not us. You know what I'm saying? Not, not us up here. Not us. In the, but them folk there. They live. Y'all did it. Being a trick. Listen to what he said. I thank you that I'm not a sinner. He doesn't see himself. I ain't good. I ain't never been to prison like them folk there. I don't smoke my mind. Never smoke. Never had a drink before in my life. I never been clubbing and stuff like I've been in the church all my life. Because my status, that's, that's it. 
God for the wrong thing. What will you thank God for? Thursday. What will you be thanking God for? Come Thursday. Will you be thanking God because, yeah, I'm, I'm not like them, them other people, you know, and I, I, I got mine and I, you know, what will you be thanking God for? Hmm? What will you thank Him for? For me, I, I look around. I've got to thank God for life, health, and strength. That's God. Yes. I gotta thank God for my wife. I gotta thank God for my child. I gotta thank God for my grandchildren. I gotta thank God for good friends. I gotta thank God for church. Yes, sir. I thank God for all that He's done for you. The blessing high Lord has exalted many of you and blessed you to recover. I thank God for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thank God for those things. And, and I thank God for the car I can drive. I thank God for the roof over my head. Yeah. I thank God for allowing me to be able to have a Thanksgiving dinner and invite some folk to the house. I, I thank God for all that, that I can eat. Yes. <laughs> These days, what do you thank God for? Beware of giving the wrong kind of thanks. And then I'll thank God also. I got to thank God for Jesus, who one day died so that I could have the right to the tree of life. Died and suffered long on the cross. You understand? Until big rocks became little rocks and little rocks became sand. Yeah. And I, I got to thank God who, who languished in Joseph around me, me, uh, uh, Matthias' tomb. Tried and sad and suddenly I thank God for the grave that got a stomach out and can heave them up on the third day. And gave him all power and took said, Grave! Yeah, but where's your said, Grave, where's your victory? I thank God for that. And I keep on thanking God for the right things. What are you, what are you thanking God for? How far somebody next to you? Beware. Beware. Of giving thanks for the wrong thing. I thank God. I thank you. I thank God for putting me on the table.